once again, check the oil. On this one, you got two little holes. Same thing, this is the upper limit, this is the lower limit, this is where you want it to be. At the upper limit? Yep. So this one, when you're checking it, you actually have to screw it in, screw it out, and then look. So we Perfect. Just gone, just over, so that's good. Air filter is under here. Now, this is a pre-filter. This one, you can take off. This will stop most of the dust, so you can brush it clean. If it gets very dirty, you can wash this in hot soapy water, leave it on the clothesline over the weekend, Monday, chuck it back on, and you're ready to go. How often should I check the filter and go on it? Probably just... Because you're doing so much work, you should at least clean this maybe once a week. Especially in the summer. Yeah, yeah, when it's much dustier in the summer. Now, we, if you look at this, if this becomes completely discoloured, then it's time to replace it. And generally you need to be doing that probably every three months or so, depending on how you look after it. Okay. Now, Oil changes on both mowers, they recommend every 50 hours. 50 hours of running time, which so, means... Yeah, yeah, so they, they recommend change it every 50 hours. 50 hours. 50 Five zero. Five zero, yeah. Which when you're using both mowers and your weed eater and your blower, Probably about once a month. Yeah, yeah. And as long as you just remember to do that, you, you should get a good long life out of this. Easiest way is you take the dipstick out, hold the handle, put an ice cream container down there, and just flip it over and let it drain out. So you just leave it sitting over there on its side until the door drains out. Putting it back in, it's a 600ml sump. Now you're not going to get all the old oil out. So what we recommend is you put 500ml back in, let it sit for a bit and then check your level. And if it's spot on, don't worry about it, if it's a little bit low, just add maybe another 50 mils, check it again.